All right, so today we're talking about section 1.3, so we're going to talk about functions and relations. So these are all the topics we're going to cover, and the things that you will learn in this section are that you will be able to determine whether a relation is a function. You will also be able to recognize and apply function notation, and then you'll be able to determine characteristics of a function, including the domain, range, whether or not it's increasing or decreasing, or if a function is constant. All right, so in this first section, we're going to determine whether a relation is a function. And so uh, let's first talk about what a function is in the, sorry, a relation is in the real world, and then talk about um, the mathematical definition of a relation. So in math, we can express the relationship between two values as a set of ordered pairs. And so we've talked about ordered pairs before, x comma y. So we can talk about the relationship bet between two things, like the cost of mailing a package and the weight of the package. Those are related. The minimum braking distance of a car and the speed of a car. Those are definitely related. Um, a student's test score is related to the number of hours they study. Alright, so in math, here's how we're going to define a relation. It's just a set of ordered pairs, x comma y, is called a relation in x and y. And so here's a really important part. All of the x values we have, those are called the domain. So the set of x values is called the domain of the relation, and the set of y values is called the range of the relation. So let's look at a couple relations here and determine the domain and range of them. Okay, so one thing to note, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. So we use this um, brace, like braces here, to represent sets, and that's also how we're going to write out our domain and range. So the domain is just the set of x values we have. So the x values we have here are 8, 3, 11, 5, and 8. We're not going to write 8 twice, no need. This is our domain. Our range is the set of y values. So the y values we have are 92, 58, 98, 72, and 86. So this is the range of this relation that was given. Okay, let's do the same thing for part B. So this, is, this set is a relation. We need to determine the domain and range. So the domain are the x values, the range are the y values. So I'll let you work on this. I'll be silent and you can check your answers with me. Okay, so here are my domain and range, and if you notice, we had a repeat in our range. One was listed twice as a y value, so we only wrote it once, that's all we need here. And then I wrote a note down here, is that one, only one of these two is actually a function. Alright, so let's talk about what a function is, and then we'll determine which one is a function and which one is not. So on the next page... Here's the definition of a function. So we have to start with a relation. So given a relation in x and y, we say that y is a function if for each value of x in the domain, there is exactly one y in the range. So we only care about the x values here when we're talking about the function. We want to make sure that each x only has one y. So let's look at the first one. Is it true that for each x value here, there's only one y value? Well, that's not true. 
because this x goes with 92, but it also goes with 86. So that tells us that this relation is not a function. Not a function, I'll put a reason because 8 goes with 92 and it also goes with 86. All right, if we look at the second one, each x value has its own y value. Perfect, this is a function. And so it may also be helpful to look at this in a more visual way. So I'm going to draw some pictures over on the side that represents these two relations. And so you can look at the difference between a function and not a function. So I'm going to start with the domain and range, just like we had before, but I'm going to write it in columns. So the domain of the first one, 8, 3, 11, and 5. I'll also write the range. Feel free to pause if I'm going too fast or rewind. All right, so we have our domain and range for the first um, relation. And we know that 8 goes with 92. So I'm just going to draw an arrow from 8 to 92. 3 goes with 58. 11 goes with 98. 5 goes with 72, and 8 goes with 86. So as you can see, we have two arrows coming from this 8. That means this is not a function. And so if we compare it to this one, so again, I'm going to write the domain and range. and draw arrows based on my relation. So three goes with one, two goes with five, negative four goes with two, negative one goes with one, and four goes with negative four. All right, so as you can see, each x value goes to one y value. Even though we have two that goes to the same y, that's okay. We want to avoid this over here. In the y side, it's okay. All right, so that's how you determine whether or not a relation is a function. And so for our purposes, so this is on the next page, a function is something kind of like a machine that takes numbers in and gives numbers out. And so for each number that goes in the machine, you should get a number that goes back out. And that is a function.